Let's do another one. Okay. All right, potassium phosphate. Scratch pad. Scratch pad. I'm going to write K. Do not write K3. It's K. I only write one of them. Now you say, okay, We didn't PO4. balance that last equation, by the way. We didn't want to balance it because it was no, no reaction. Ha, ha, ha. All right, now, Mr. didn't I just violate my rule? I wrote PO4. I lost the three, but I didn't lose the four when I wrote that. Well, down. PO4 is part of phosphate. It's a polyion. So this is you it's know, a circle. A circle, if you will, right? And then I've got barium, and I've got chloride. Notice I lost the two. Because that's not a polyion. Because it's not a polyion. Let's look at the periodic table now. Potassium is charged up. Plus one. Plus one. Phosphate is minus, minus three. three. Barium is plus, plus two, two and minus one. We don't have to any figure on this one, so that wasn't too bad. Now we're going to trade partners. So um, potassium is going to get together with the chloride. Oh, that's easy. It's one and one. Yep, KCl. So it's KCl. Plus. Barium phosphate. Ooh, plus yeah. two minus three. You've got to do the they six the thing. six thing. So this would be Ba3, PO4, two. All right, now we'd go and we have to look, figure out the uh, states of matter. Potassium, potassium. Here's potassium. Chloride is here. So it looks like it's an AQ. Aqueous. 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 And the barium phosphate. Here's barium. And phosphate is over here somewhere. Yep. Hey, it's solid. It's a solid. So this one's a worker one. This one works. It happens. Whoops, wrong way. I went the wrong direction. Uh, barium phosphate is a solid. Solid. Okay. So that reacts. So this reacts. Let's balance it. So we just need to balance it. We got a complex let's guy here. Start with that big ugly one. So here. let's call him a one. So let's do the barium. So I'll need a three, three here. here, and I got two, two phosphates. Phosphate. So I'll put a two here. That gives me six, six potassium. So that's six. That gives me six chlorides. And hey, look at that. I six six chlorides. chlorides. That's the answer. Okay, that wasn't too bad. How about if we start with words? Okay. A little difficult here. Let's do it. All right, we still start with a scratch pad. So I think these are actually easier sometimes. All right, so we've got silver. Silver symbol is AG. Charge of silver is? Plus, plus one. one. All right, nitrate is? NO3. NO3, minus negative one. one. And sodium is NA, NA plus, plus one. one. And carbonate is CO3 minus, one. minus two. That's what I meant. Yeah, okay, good. I'm glad you knew it. Now, in this case, we've got to build the left and the right side. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to have to put the silver with the nitrate. Okay. So that's going to put the, the top together. Well, and the charge, oh, they add up. AgNO3. That'll there be AgNO3. We'll go back and look at this, the states at the end, I think. Okay. And then we'll do sodium carbonate. That'd Na2 be Na2CO3. Because, of course, the one charge and the minus two charge. And now we're going to put them diagonally together, right? Okay. So silver carbonate would be Ag2CO3 two. Two right. plus, over here, Na3. Na3. So we've got silver nitrate. Okay, so now let's look at our, our box here. Silver nitrate. Silver was down here. Mm. And here's the nitrate column. Okay, so silver nitrate, boom. Aqueous. aqueous. So silver nitrate is aqueous. Sodium carbonate, so sodium is right underneath him, and carbonate is, there we go, aqueous, okay. Now that's important, they're both aqueous, right? If they're both aqueous, I'm in the wrong direction there, if they're both aqueous, they've got to both be aqueous to have a reaction right. take place, and make silver carbonate. So silver carbonate, oh, there it is, Hey, S. it's a solid. Hey, there's our S. So we have two aqueous starting pro uh, starting materials and a solid product. That means the reaction occurred. And then we don't necessarily need to look this up. I will. Um, we don't. It's, it's, aqueous. it's aqueous, trust me. OK. Um, that reaction's like it's going to happen. Yeah. Because AQ, AQ it makes no, S, we, AQ. Yeah, no, we just need to balance. Now it's the balance. Our complex one, I'm kind of yeah, thinking of that, that guy, one. Yeah. So let's make him a one. OK. So there's two silvers, so that All means right. it two here. That gives me two nitrates. Okay, I only got one over here, so I'm going to put a two there. That gives me two sodiums. Hey, look at that. I've got two sodiums. It works. Okay, that's the answer. Okay. Right. I think we got a couple more to do. I think so. All right, barium, phosphate, and ammonium chloride. All right, start with the box. Start with the box. So barium is BA. BA plus two. Plus two. Phosphate is PO4. Minus three. Minus three. And then we've got ammonium. NH4. NH4. Plus one. Plus one. Chloride CO minus, minus one. one. All right. So we're gonna put barium together with phosphate. Oh, we get that two and three things. Two and three, so make up six. six. So, so BA three, BA3, PO four, two, two, plus. Oh, this is easy. One and one. Yep. NH four Cl makes. Now we're gonna cross them, right? Yep. Barium's gonna get the chloride. So mm -hmm. I'll say BaCl two because okay. of course the one and the negative two, and they got a one and a three charge. Yeah. So this is a little tricky. NH four. Three. Three. You need three NH4s. PO4. PO4. 
Now we should like look at the charges yep. or the uh, states. Pardon me. Yep. So, so first barium, barium phosphate. phosphate. Here's barium, and phosphate's over here somewhere. Yep. Right? That would be this box. So oh, solid. Okay, so it's a solid. Yeah, that's. So we go back uh, and write a solid. What's wrong, um, Mr. Sams? Well, both of our reactants have to be aqueous. Oh yeah. Oh wait, if they both have to be aqueous, no reaction. We're done. We're because done. Either, Stop if, there. Yeah. Go no further. No uh, reaction. We could have probably figured that out earlier, and then we could have not written all this out. We could have. All right, if you can figure out how to do that and you're smart enough, then go ahead. Otherwise, go through the process. Go through the process. That's right. I think we got one more. Let's do one more, Mr. Sam. All right, last one. Hey, last one. Okay. Hey, what do we start with? Uh, scratch pad. Scratch pad. Make a books. Mm -hmm. Iron. So that'd be F-E. Yeah. Don't, by the way, I've had a lot of students this year who've said iron is P-B. No, no, that's lit. Yes. They get them mixed up, iron and lead. Weird. But anyways, iron is F-E. Yeah. All right, F-E charge. Uh, three. I, I don't, I'm looking at the periodic table since I don't see Roman it. numeral. Oh, oh, there's a number here. Oh, you're right. There's a three. That means it's the charge. 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 Oh, good. Plus three. I'm good. All right. I was a little confused. Chloride is Cl with a charge of negative one. Charge. Okay. Strontium has a charge of. Now, look in the periodic table. You'll discover strontium element number 38 is in column number two of the periodic table. So his charge is plus two. Charge. There you go. And hydroxide. Is H. No. No, no, what is it? O H. Oh. Everybody oh. Yeah. I've had a lot of students this year yeah. putting H for hydroxide. Yeah. Hydroxide is O H charge negative one. Guys. H is hydride. Watch that. Okay. Not hydroxide. Yes. Okay, so let's figure this out. So I'm gonna put together I've iron the three chloride. So that'll be F E C L three, because when I put these together, I have to get the charge of uh, zero added mm -hmm. up. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Plus strontium hydroxide, S R O H two. No. What, what's wrong? You need parentheses yeah. around hydroxide. Guys, a common mistake I see too many times All is that the with time. hydroxide, lots of times, is OH, you need two OHs, mm -hmm. not one O and yep. two Hs. Yep. And that's going to, now we're going to trade partners. The iron is now going get to with, get together with, that, with the hydroxide. So that would be FE, <laughs> did you make sense? FEOH3. Nice. Notice the parentheses, ladies mm -hmm. and gentlemen. Plus SRCl2. I have to play the charge game, two and one, three and one, etc. Now we need to look at our, our um, chart, right, to see if this reaction mm -hmm. occurs. Yep. So we have iron, iron three, three, here's iron three, chloride. and then chloride is, so we're over here, aqueous. Aqueous okay. it is. So iron three chloride is an AQ. Yeah. Strontium hydroxide. Strontium sir. is down here. To sir with love is an important movie, isn't it? Hydroxide. Aqueous. You see that? Is that right? Yep. Am I got the right box? So, all right, we got two hey, aqueous. Two aqueous, so we yes. have the potential for a reaction. Potential. Let's see if we can make a reaction. Here's my iron, and we want to put in with hydroxide, which uh -huh. will be right there. Oh, solid. solid. That's the dead giveaway. You make this. By the way, when this is a solid, what do we call that, Mr. Sam? A uh, precipitate. This right here is your precipitate PPT. Boop. Boop. And then strontium chloride. Wrong way. I knew that. All right, strontium, strontium chloride. chloride. Aqueous. Aqueous. So that's, uh, it works. This reaction uh, is a worker reaction. It's uh, going to happen. Aqueous. We have one step to go. What did it be? Balance. Balance. I see, uh, I'm thinking this is our most I'm complex. thinking you're right. So I put a one right there. Okay. So I see three OHs. Mm -hmm. And I have two. Oh, we got to do the six thing. Oh, three and two. So six. Okay, I can't yeah. put a one there. So no. this is wrong. Yeah. So I'm going to put a two here mm -hmm. and a three here. That gives us six hydroxides on, on both, both sides. sides. Now that gives me three SRs. So mm -hmm. to fix that, I'm going to put three in front here. Okay. And um, now that gives me six chlorides. Three times two is six. Mm -hmm. And over here, I've got two. I've got three. So I'll put a two, two here. for six. That gives me two irons here. And hey, I look, over you here. have two. Oh, and I have two. Bingo, bingo, done. Yay. So, guys, I know this is long and it's kind of tedious, and when you do these worksheets, you'll probably say, this is tedious. But eventually you're going to be able to do it really fast. Yes. In fact, you might even be able to look at it and just say, oh, I know which one it is. Yeah. So, at least you're not an AP, and AP would make you memorize these solubility rules. <laughs> memorize this? Yes. Yes. We have Actually, a, we have an easy way to do it. Yeah, though. Mr. Neckel knows so. Yeah, but we'll talk about that in AP chemistry when you take it. Take okay. It next year. Take it next year, and you'll learn so much more chemistry. You, you, you'll just be the smartest person it's on amazing. the planet. Okay, cool.